This is Panda Zukovsky on Sunday, June the 1st, uh, doing a review on the Iron Condor positions currently open this month and uh, maybe a general commentary on the market. Uh, I'm going to go over our, our first position that uh, we have open from, or this is the first call that I made from my subscription service. Uh, this is on, on, um, on the 15th. This was put out. May 15th to enter this June position and uh, currently the strikes were at well the position the open position was for the 80 82 and 60 6 and 64 and right now as you can see it's positioned perfectly within these this range so again we entered that uh, right here, uh, see right on this day here, on this on this green day here, we entered that, and prices are just a little bit above it. We entered that. We entered this credit spread at a credit of of uh, twenty cents to give us a potential return of eleven point eleven percent. And right now, the position position is profitable. Uh, this this is based on Friday's close. If we wanted to sell it out, it would be at 12 cents, giving us an 8 cent profit. However, we're getting two extra days of time decay, so I'm sure this this will be at least 10, 10 cents or better. So, pretty much already, we got we got about five and a half percent return so far on this IWM position, and as you can see, positioned very nicely. I'm not expecting a, a, a move up, certainly not to the $80 level, and I'm not expecting a move down anywhere below, you know, 68. So it's pretty much this position has a very high probability of success for that 11.11%, and that is looking to uh, expire very nicely within the within the parameters there. Next position we have here is the SPY. Uh, this is the our first SPY position we entered in the same day on the 15th of May for this June expiration, and it's looking very nicely here right now. Current price is at, at about forty dollars and forty or fifty cents. So ba basically, you know, one forty and a half. Uh, let's see the ask on this. So yeah, well basically. $140.40 right here. Plenty, plenty more on the upside as our short strikes at 149, giving us a break even point of 150. So we still have 10 points move on the upside. I'm pretty certain that that's not going to happen as there's major resistance up here around the 143 level. And downside, we have all the way down here to 127, giving us our shorts down here at 127 and 125 at break-even point at about 126. So this position is looking to be very safe to expire worthless for a gain of 12.9 percent, almost 13 percent profit on this trade, if in fact it does expire within this range. We entered this position at a credit of 23 cents and right now this position is at 12 cents debit. So that would give us a 11 cent profit already on this trade so if if we wanted to exit out of this trade right now we could exit out at 5.82 percent but we're going to let it continue going as there's plenty of room for this to expire within this uh, range I firmly believe to allow us about 13 percent that's a 12.9 percent profit on this uh, SPY trade and we entered into another SPY trade um, the day after at uh, 152, 150, and then this is 131 and 129. And this was entered into at a 25 cent credit to give us a return of 14.3%. Or actually 14.29 percent so 
This trade was entered into by our subscribers at 25 cents, and right now this position is at one, well, 19 cents debit. Uh, and again, this is on Friday, so it'll be a couple cents better when market opens on um, on Monday morning, which is tomorrow morning. So already, I would say about eight eight cents on this, so about four percent profit on this one already. And this one is also looking to expire worthless, so looking for a good uh, possibility on that one. Our next trade we entered into was uh, a DIA position. We entered this on the 19th of May, and the strikes on this one are 139, 137, and on the low side, we have 120 and 118. Okay, with this one we entered into on the 19th for 19 cent, 19 cent credit, and that uh, let's see, let's look at the chart where here that was on on this on that big on that big up day is when we entered this and then we got a huge sell off here, which kind of threatened our our short. Um, put position here because the the move was fast towards this position which in iron condors we don't want but at the same time we don't really know exactly what's going to happen in the market so we have to give enough room and and this down move wasn't good but in this in this past week we had a nice up move which um, which compensated for for this move going against our, our, our position here but at the same time, as it goes against this position here, it's favorable on the call side. But, however, the fast move down is still not enough to, to, to make up for the gain on this. But right now, this position is not yet profitable because we could only exit out here for 24 cents and we entered into this sense into this trade for 19 cents so right now we're at a five cent um, loss but then again uh, this is on Friday's close and this will be better so we're we're almost at break even and, and the reason why is because of this huge down move we basically entered into about here when price was at 130 it dropped down five points so the, the faster the price gets to the short strikes is bad because it's not allowing enough theta or time decay to work out the position and, and erode the options value, which is what we want. So we, we want an erosion of time value of the options. So in other words, we want this the price of the options to go down because it's an overall credit or a short position, iron condor. So we want that to happen but we don't want it to move down here quickly to the short position strike at 120 and it can go down here all the way toward the end of the upper uh, of the option cycle like right down towards the end of so say okay let, let me put it this way it's the short strike is at 120 if if it's at 120 at options expiration that's fine we keep all the credit and we profit all the position however if, if it comes a 120 in in a week or two then if we want to sell out of the position then we're we're going to be at a loss in that position because because the theta or the time value erosion has not had a chance to kick in and if you guys have have seen my a picture of the theta chart theta does not kick in until the final two weeks of the, of the options expiration cycle so so we are, are really we want to hold on to the position as long as we can and and each day the options will decrease in value more and more so the longer we wait the uh, the better it can be so that's part of the game of iron condors. Entered some more positions. Here's another SPY. 
have all the way down here to 126 break even and another one uh, same one 147 break even so have I don't have much move on the upside but I'm not expecting another move this one to give us a profit of well we got in at 27 cents to return a 15 percent profit and have another position we enter which is here the DIA has a 133 uh, break even and 118 so we have uh, plenty of move on the upside but not much past this uh, resistance area of 131 as a break even is here 133 but we have kind of move on a downside so looking for another 15 percent profit uh, that's all the time I have for this video the market my feel is that we uh, might get a push up to these levels of resistance however especially on the on the DIA or the Dow I don't think we're going to get above it but we're going to kind of want to fall back here there is support at, at these levels and uh, it's going to continue neutral